With the holiday seasons upon us, it's time to get nice and cozy, wrap yourself up in a blanket down by the fire, and grab yourself a beautiful amaretto cranberry kiss. I love you. So with this amaretto cranberry kiss, we're obviously gonna incorporate two things that are in the title. I mean, that just makes sense, right? So we're gonna do some cranberry juice, a little bit of vodka, some amaretto, of course. It's gonna be delicious. So first, let's go ahead, let's start this off like we always do. Ice into our shaker. I'm going with my martini shaker today. Uh, so next, the other thing I'm doing is I'm gonna bump up all the, uh, the proportions up a fourth of an ounce. It shouldn't change the flavor profile at all, but it's going to give me just a little bit more liquid in it. So um, everything's just getting an extra fourth of an ounce. So we're gonna go ahead and go two and one fourth of cranberry. Which a fourth, I'll tell you what, a fourth is a hard measure, measurement to kinda hit. Cocktail makers, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, next we're gonna go with vodka of your choice. So I'm going with batch one vodka here. I have not used this actually in a long time, so I figured it'd be a good time for it. So this is gonna be an ounce and a fourth. Perfect. Next, we're gonna go with my sweet, sweet amaretto. And this is going to be three fourths of an ounce. Like I said, I'm doing everything up a fourth of an ounce. So if you wanna uh, dumb it down to the original um, measurements, I'll put them in the uh, details down below or in the comment section. Three fourths of an ounce of amaretto. And last, we are going with our orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice here, and we're just going half an ounce here. And just a little bit of orange juice, so just a, just a kiss of orange juice, I guess. So next, we're gonna go ahead and shake this bad boy up. Ice has been set out for a little bit, so I probably didn't shake it that much, but uh, let's go ahead. I'm going with our classic martini glass here. Very sexy. And we're just gonna go ahead and pour this bad boy over the top. Should get a nice, pretty ruby color. Oh, see, just, just there. Perfect, nailed it. Lastly, we're gonna garnish this bad boy with an orange slice here. Um, you can do clementines as well, clement, uh, uh, clementine segments, if you will. So I'm gonna go in, I'm actually just gonna just drop this right over the middle. Ooh, left just enough room. And there you guys have the Amaretto Cranberry Kiss. Mm. That Amaretto is so sweet in there. You can really, really, really taste that. Obviously that and the cranberry just essentially take over most of the cocktail. I think it's because I have the orange peel on top like that. I kind of get the hint of orange juice. It's just, but my nose is also buried right in that when I take a sip of that. So it's really good, really sweet. Don't taste too much of the vodka. Um, a little bit, but no, this drink, perfect fall time cocktail, um, perfect for the season, the loving, the giving, everything. So do yourself a favor, make one of these cocktails, warm up by the fire and enjoy your night.